Picture this. You've been on a winning roll in trading. Awesome, right? But here's the thing. It can be tricky. Why? Well, because you're winning. You might start feeling like a trading superstar. That's cool. But sometimes it leads us to do too much, taking too many risks. So, if you want to become a successful trader, you must remember to stay smart even when you're on a winning streak. Hey there, Tom here from FibonaciTraders.com with the Daily Market Recap. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends and without any further ado, let's see the charts. So let's see what Fine Friends brought us today. If we zoom in, always zoom in and zoom out to get a better point of your price action, we gap down and then slowly, slowly went and closed the gap. 443, which is also the 50% retracement, is holding a support. It was a very tough resistance over here. Important support over here. Resistance over here. So for now, once again, 443 needs to hold the support. Let's see if we can close the week above the 446. And then we are still long on SPY because we have higher lows. But if we look at the longer term, since end of july we do have lower highs so it's a bit tricky let's see what spy will bring us next week we all only follow price use levels and trend lines to manage our risk and with high probability we can assume where price will be head next qqq same thing uptrend towards this trend line over here that started mid of july rejected over here rejected over here now 50 percent needs to hold let's see if we can close the week above the 373 same thing as the spy gap down and then slowly slowly very tricky trading day went up closed the gap and now we need a close above the 372.25 dow jones bears took a rest today with an inside candle inside day Let's see where Dow is heading. Can Dow and bulls of the Dow close the week by closing the 347 gap? IWM, another day, another bearish day. This trend line got broken to the downside. So for now, it's not relevant anymore. 184 is holding a support. Below it, we are heading towards the 182. Now we need to prepare for both scenarios. First scenario, downtrend continuation below the 182, we are heading towards the 197, and then we are heading towards this gap over here. And if you're a pattern trader, you can clearly see left shoulder, head, right shoulder will get validated below the 182. But the 182 will succeed to hold price as it did here. And as it did here and here, we can see a double bottom scenario. Downtrend, bounce, downtrend. And then double bottom towards, once again, the 200 area. Prepare for both sides. No one knows what will happen next. No one has the crystal ball. But by following price, pure price action and using Fibonacci and trend lines gives you the highest probability where price might be heading next. Bitcoin still moving sideways. 24,200 is the major support. Ethereum, same thing. Downtrend until proven otherwise. But in the past three weeks or so, 1,600 is holding. Below it, we are heading towards this purple trend line. KRE. Same as the IWM, broke below this purple trend line. Now, 4280 needs to hold the support. Then we are heading towards this gap, filling this gap, and then we might get some kind of a bounce. But we also have trend lines to help us identify the lower highs. Oil looks like we are heading towards the 80. 570 maybe back to the 8470 to retest this area as support 
it was a very tough resistance so by natural things of price action it needs to get retested as support then if this will hold we're heading back towards the 88 and 96 soxx with a gap to the downside nasty gap to the downside and the positive thing we know that more than 80 percent of all gaps will get filled but for now no longer an soxx this trend line needs to get retested once again as support breaking below we're heading to close this gap over here you find anything you like just take one second it takes once less than one second to hit the like subscribe share with friends and turn on the notification bell apple another gap to the downside but look at the 15 minutes on apple gap to the downside and then sideways move tried but failed to close the intraday gap so on the positive side we have a gap to the upside at the 181 we have another one at the 191 but below the 170 60 below this red line we are heading straight towards the 167 gap and then we might get a relief bounce to the upside nvidia with all the news we have 451 holding which is not surprising the 50 percent retracement uptrend retracement 50 percent is holding let's see if we can close this gap tomorrow tesla another day nothing much as you can see tesla basically moving sideways this beginning of september 241.80 is holding a support this trend line holding as resistance if we are looking to go long on tesla we need a weekly close above this purple trend line prefer also above the 262 meta that was a crazy move on meta today zoom in started the day with a relative strength look at this uptrend in the first hour then became came two dojis on the 15 minutes and then flashed to the downside and went almost 50 percent up from the downside crazy move if you're a day trader and you caught this move you have uptrend downtrend perfect execution execution and this is why we need always to zoom in and zoom out then we can really understand how this scandal has formed shopify as you can see very tight price range nothing much 6330 needs to hold the support otherwise we are heading towards this gap long continuation only above 68 area amd still holding above this long-term uptrend line below it we are heading towards 99 and then once again to this red trend line to the downside if you are looking to go long on amd i would wait above this red trend line and of course everything you see in here on my channel is for educational purposes only always do your own due diligence take care of your money microsoft cannot hold above the 331 now 330 326 is the next support amazon with a bullish day but trend lines are the true support resistance for price action for future price action as you can see since beginning of august this upper trend line is holding as resistance for price so if you're looking to go long on amazon i would wait for a weekly close above this purple trend line prefer above the 139.40 google still moving sideways with 133 as support 135 136 as resistance a weekly close above this area above the 136 and we are heading towards once again retesting this purple trend line a weekly close below the 133 132 and this trend line needs to hold the support 
otherwise we are heading towards the 126 55 netflix 440 area 438 still holding nicely as support two consecutive dojis indecision on netflix so if market cannot decide where it wants to take netflix we should sit on the sidelines and wait because if market cannot decide we surely cannot decide long continuation above 450 retracement continuation below 438 towards this red line retesting as support so i hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit the like subscribe share with friends don't forget to check the notification bell on because we are going live two times a day 8 30 a.m eastern time pre-market preparation and 12 p.m eastern time midday market review until the next video stay safe